World 4. Now this is a secret pipe which again will lead somewhere we have not yet unlocked. See, till we get that fortress we can't use this. Now of course this is considered many's favourite world and I have to say yeah I agree. It definitely is a it definitely is one of the best worlds in this game. Oh yeah, shoot me if you can't guess what this gimmick is. Yep, that's it. Everything's giant. Okay, we need to use oh wrong thing. If we, actually, if I go back, I might reappear. Yeah. I love that reappearing glitch. And of course, it going backwards does nothing. Yeah, it would have been nice if we had a tail. Even giant Goombas. Ugh. And a leaf. Yes. There's actually a secret bit here that we can get with a leaf. Uh. Be the turtle boy. Now let's fly up here. Keep flying, keep flying. I don't remember anything being in this direction. Could be wrong. Don't worry, that's not big bar for but it is quite pretty, pretty annoying. Flies back and forth shooting out small fish. I have no idea why. I have no idea what the point of this is. And no, I can't you can't use your tail underwater. So that takes us there. Did you enjoy that little tr trip? Now be careful here, there, this is actually a drop. Well anyway, we need the end. Yeah, did definitely messed up there. Actually, if I aim this right, I can actually get something in there. Yeah. And damn, darn. Uh, I wish have I ever got one on Starman yet? I don't think I have. I oh, that was close. Yeah, this is probably one of my least favorite levels. And but this is one of my favorite things. Five more lives. Five more lives. Five alive. Whatever. I'm definitely. Ooh, end card!
And another fire flower. Because we've got plenty. Flip the card. Ooh, and it's the same one. Yes, remember this fire flower here. So this was a one up. I think this was 10 coins. Star man. I don't think we found one of them. Ooh, flower. Ooh. Oops. Ah. Uh, I know what you're thinking. Didn't you just go on a flower? Why did you do that? Sorry, my finger slipped on the controller. And of course, we fight Sledge Brothers, which are really easy if you have a fire flower. And clouds, those help you skip levels, but it counts as you not completing them, so if you die, you've wasted your cloud. I don't think I actually really use the cloud that much, because in a sense, they were actually quite useless. The problem with Sledge Brothers is, uh, I was trying not to do, is once they land, they cause earthquakes. If you're on the ground, obviously. Yeah, they're no real threat. Now this is arguably one of my least favourite levels in here. I'm not entirely sure why, to be honest. Oh yeah, because it's a flying death trap. Well, not flying death trap, I mean, you, it's a death trap if you can't fly. And I really hate levels with a lot of drops in them. They've got to be my least favourite levels in any game. It's one of the reasons I prefer the leaf. Actually, gather up a little speed here. Oh, whatever, I'm just getting past us. Oh man, I don't need to fly. Oh, well, we've got to the end. That actually wasn't too bad. Wasn't as bad as I remember. Still horrible, but not as bad as I remember. Ooh, another castle. By the way, what is the... By the way, see that fireball? See how it moves? These things are like booze. They will move when you are not looking at them. And like booze, they have no limitations of where they can go. Ah, oh, man, I messed that up. Well, now I don't have that problem anymore. Oh well, the mushrooms in here. Oh, he's went for jumping. But he is no f match for me. After World 2, no Boom Boom can kill me. I don't care if they're jumping, flying, um, squatting. Uh... 
You know, I think I'll use a leaf this time. Just trying to prevent my slot. Oh, I actually like this level, to be honest. It's a good level. And I don't know if I want the fire flower, I just kind of use the leaf. Oh, well, I might as well. But it's actually more useful than a leaf in an underwater level. One little shortcut you can use is just stay close to the top like this. You can pretty much bypass that any most problems. Unless you're dumb enough to actually touch the shell like me. <laughs> but yeah, see, very easy, quick level. No problem. And I've messed that up. What's in this one? Pick a box, its contents will help you on your way. A flower. I got me another flower. And I'm gonna have to fight a sledge brother. Yeah, if you have a brother you see, you will actually be a sledge brother on this world as to fit the giant theme. They're actually easier than um, Hammer Brothers, but it's only if you do it right. I normally like wait until after they've did their jump. Like this. Get the timing right. And well, you know. No problem. And there's another Sledge Brother, so we've got a choice we can go well six and avoid the uh, Sledge Brother. Yeah, I'm gonna go for Wild Six. Besides, there's a mushroom house behind here. Ah, uh, boy, did I do something dumb. Ooh, one up mushroom, might as well at least get this. I think we're gonna have to jump it. Oh, I remember. The gimmick here is that I'll switch between big and small world. There's also a special suit that can be found here if done right. So if I go through here, everything's mini. I think everything has to be big before I get to the special suit. Oops, I messed up because I was trying to find a spot where there was like no boxes. Let's do this again. Besides, I think you need to stay in giant mode for it to really be effective. I really don't see the point of switching to small, it's not like it really changes anything in the world, you know, except the obvious size of the enemies. So you get all the better items in the big world. Like how I got a mushroom this time and not just some stupid... Oh, I don't think nothing could touch me. And that was ridiculous. I am serious, I am serious, this is getting really sh ridiculous. There's no reason I should have died on this level twice. In fact, I don't think it's the reason I should have died at all. So I'm done playing like crap. Just gonna get past this level. I'm, co I'm coming back. I've died twice and I'm coming back with a vengeance. I think there's actually a secret path if you go for a wear. Not quite as good touching in that. Yeah, you're not touching me again, pal. I will call for harassment. Yes, star!
Hurry up, buddy. Hurry up. That's because I've been slow. Yeah, I'm going back to Big World. That world was more interesting. Like, who wants to live in Mini World? It kind of defeats the point of being in this world. Ah, you stupid turtle. And Sally, I come found where the special item was. Pick a box. Well, at least we'll get it here. No, we don't get to wealth. Five, do we? World four, world five. Ah, uh, whatever. And a P wing, yay, a useful item. P wings, I like. I think it's world five, actually, is the only way you get the special item, I'll check. I want that special item. And I hate the flying Koopas. Yeah, that's just what I needed. Sally, these tails can break big blocks. I don't know what I was doing there. And of course, we've got homing bullet bills. Which, as the name states, they will follow you everywhere. <sighs> I'm trying to find a good place to fly. Wouldn't that one get me killed by a, gi a giant turtle? I know one tell me they're called Coopers, I know what they're called. We need to get up there, which I think we can actually use one of these for. Do, 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 do. Yeah, here it is. And get ready for one of the best items in this game. Tanuki suit! Oh, what's so special about the Tanuki suit? I just... Well, it's got all the abilities of the raccoon suit and more. Like becoming an invincible statue. Seriously, why are you in statue form? Nothing can hurt you or kill you. Besides, I'm being really careful because I do not want to lose my Tanuki suit. Actually, I'll just turn into this. I, you cannot be hurt by any enemies, but you can still die by pitfalls, obviously, so do make sure you're careful. To activate, you simply press the down and the B button. Well, B because I'm using a GameCube controller. In the card. I don't know if we're still doing the same game here. Yes, we are. Ooh, that was actually... That was just a guess, that. That was pretty good. <sighs> Ooh, sweet. Ah, <sighs> see, my controller's all finicky. Uh, I think I saw a star here somewhere. That's a one-up. I hope this is a one-up or a star. Mushroom. I'll try for this one. 20 coins. And we can't reach the castle till we do this fort. Ooh, I hate this world. <laughs> well, I hate this fort. World. 
Yeah, I'm not get. Yeah, like, I'm gonna get the fire flower. I've got like a rare thing here. I'm not getting rid of it. Oh, I can't remember. Do I have to jump up there? Oh, I just barely made that. Yeah, there's actually an invisible secret door there, but we need these things to move. Press up, and voila! Ta-da! Jump on it. Jump off it before I get hurt. I just can't stand those things. Each pipe leads somewhere. Yeah, I'm not even going to crack that open because I'm pretty sure it's a leaf or something. Like I said, I really do not want to lose this. Let's get past this bit without losing my suit to this red flower. Eat it. Oh well, now that I've got rid of the flower, that should be no problem. A nice pointless room. I really don't know if there's anything in here. I don't think so. Oh, nice. Bring on the one-ups. Look. If you notice in the top corner, if you have a flying suit, we can get up here. Get some cells on it, some nice coins. So yeah, this is actually quite a nice castle. Just the beginning part bugs me. That's because I hear things that make tricky jumps. And of course we're back. Huh? Buddy! Off to land on the ground. We get our Tanuki suit, and we got lots of lives and lots of coins. We were doing really good. It makes up for earlier when we were playing like turtle crap. Help, 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 help. Ooh, it's Donkey Kong Jr. Oh, terrible. The king has been transformed, blah, blah, blah. We know. The last few toads told us the same thing. Now these um, ships are actually start getting a bit tricky at this point. I'm going to be playing like crap here or really carefully one or the other because I really don't know I want to lose my Tanuki suit. I'm probably going to lose it. But I wouldn't be surprised if I lose it in like the next 10 seconds. So you know what you're going to do. Uh, playing better is a suggestion. I am mocking myself. Okay, let's get this thing moving. I have no idea if there's any way to move this thing move any quicker because it moves like total crud. I'll try and get a bit closer. And I'll just do this.
and I'm not opening that because I'll have some other item which isn't as cool. I don't think there's a possible mods, but they look like pigs to me. I think we should be near the end of this thing now. Yeah, damn. Missed. Going in, I don't care for whether suits are at the end. No, my Tanuki suit! My suit! Damn you, Iggy Cooper! Yeah, that's actually Iggy Cooper, even though it looks nothing like his future designs. Curse you, Iggy! I'll never forgive you for making me lose my Tanuki. Because the Tanukis will not make a reappearance till much later on, it would have become quite useless. Oh, thank heavens, I'm back to my own self again. Yes, but what about the Tanuki suit? Don't let me replace place that. I've offered you a peer wing. Well, I suppose that's nice and comes close. Still can't replace my Tanuki suit. A moment of silence. Alright, so the yeah, silence over. And of course I will later on I will continue this and in the world five, um Sky World, whatever. And well you know, see you later.